Light me up, don't you stop Cause tonight, it's on the line Show me how, you get on down Close my eyes, take me for a ride Venting vlog number two of the season, Pontus Ball B90. It is currently Friday afternoon. I've just finished work and out for a right and lead. But Miss Lola is flagging behind, aren't you? It's been a busy week to be fair. So hence the reason, two birds, one stone. Didn't need to do very much with them today. So just gone for a little mooch around the block, little leg stretch. As I say, it has been a very busy week with training for myself, for Lola. We went dressage on Wednesday and work has also been pretty hectic. I, this week has honestly absolutely flown by. And of course, not forgetting at the Friends reunion, which I watched last night and loved it. Loved, loved, loved it. If you know me, I am a bit of a Friends fanatic and absolutely adore the program love it i still now i mean i've watched it so many times but still cry at the last one it gets me every time and i just i can't help it last night was actually the first night i got home before nine o'clock every other evening this week it's been gone past nine o'clock and i've been eating tea stupidly late hence the reason no vlogs have been going out because yeah life has just been a little bit busy this week which is absolutely fine so look out there is lots of vlogs coming your way probably quite quickly as long as uh, next week is a little bit calmer i'm not really sure of the order i will be posting them i'm probably not going to be able to help myself and be wanting to get this eventing vlog out first i would have thought maybe <laughs> depending how obviously tomorrow goes anyways enough about my busy week stop whinging emily we have now got a bank holiday weekend and starting it off with a day's event we are heading up and back in a day, so no overnight stay, makes packing a little bit easier. Still obviously need quite a lot of stuff for eventing, but I have been fairly organised and started getting things all grouped together yesterday into the big travel bag. Um, so then that leaves me tonight just packing the last few bits and getting <laughs> Miss Lola. Look at the state of her. She has very much enjoyed a roll today, haven't you, Lola? Yes. So need to get her bath, plaited up, like her on, like her hood, and out. She'll be out overnight and then over early doors tomorrow morning. Ride and lead all completed. Now time to transform you from a bog pony into an event horse. <laughs> so let's go get the water. I did just want to say that it is going to be slightly different to an annoying to a normal eventing vlog. I have decided to trial, just trial. I, I have no idea if it's gonna help make things better, make things worse. I don't know, but I am trialing going on our own. Traveling Banksy and Lola separately. So I too am driving up tomorrow. And as I say, I don't know if it's gonna help or not, but I'm just hoping it might just make her a little bit easier to manage, to ride. I say that, look at her, she's like, butter wouldn't melt right now. And I have to say, when I go to like dressage evening that we've just been to, she's like chilled by the trailer, cool as a cucumber. I know that it's not the same atmosphere that you get like at an event with the commentator and all the noises, everyone riding past, going off dressage, jumping. I get that and I know that it is a different atmosphere, but I hope that because she hasn't travelled up with Banksy, she's going to be more reliant on me if she's feeling a little bit anxious. I mentioned at the end of my last eventing vlog that I just wondered if she was like a little bit anxious and then she was very reliant, dependent on Banksy. Where's he gone? Like Banksy will literally go around the other side of the trailer and she will barge past me to try and get to him. Whereas she's not really like that. She is fine example no i know that it's different at a show but i just just trialing it just want to see if it helps or not um and i mean i think we, tina and i probably just need to get out to some more like just show jumping dressage evenings things like that than going 
out of venting. So we're trialing it, as I say. May work, might not work, but I'm hoping that it will make her be more reliant on money than on Banksy. So, right, get to my buckets and uh, let's get some hot water and get the pony gleaming. She's looking at me, she's like, oh no. Is it bathing time? Oh, mum's got my shoes on again. Pinched my shoes. Where are you going, trainers? You're wearing them quite a bit. You're only trialing them out. Yeah, I know. They're very nice. <laughs> yeah, they are nice. I know, they're nice. I would like them back. <laughs> You've been my little bathing partner, haven't you? Yes. <laughs> One pony. Bathed, washed and ready to go. No more mud. They are going out, so just going to give her a quick spray of this. My hands work. <laughs> pleased with them yeah. and you've been a very good girl you've just been sat there on your bed haven't you watching so yeah yeah it's time to go home just gotta pop the lycra on rug on and uh, out they can go in the field have their tea we'll be back here bright and early tomorrow morning i was thinking i'm going over to plat banksy lola you are literally going to sleep so yes tina has got sam helping her do her plat so that leaves me to get straight home eat some pasta full of carbs give me a load of energy for tomorrow chris is very kindly sorting that for me and yeah i'm gonna end it here get these ponies out and i will see you bright and early tomorrow morning good morning guys i don't think lola is very happy with you trying to steal her breakfast she's not gonna like you very much we all know how much lola likes her food Starting off the day with a hearty breakfast. Hey, Miss Lola. All ready to go, aren't you? You have had a lie down, as you can see, but hopefully, hopefully, the plats still feel like they're all intact. So that is good. Rug is on. Righty's obviously over in her stable, eating her breakfast too. And all I've got left to do, I've just brushed off the mud off of Lola's legs, where she's lied down. Must have been a little while ago though, because it's dry. Um, which is a good thing, obviously, for me. So now just to kind of abandon the car, we'll get ponies in and then I'll hitch up. So now time to hitch up. Then thinking can give Chris his little warning to say, I will be soon on the road. I'm picking you up and doing pretty well for time. To be honest, I was like happy if any time between half five and six I was to be leaving. Yeah, I think it's about 20 past 25 past five at the moment. So doing very well. I want to be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I won. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better, so much better mm -hmm. I don't fit to your bars, beauty queens without no flaws The journey is going well so far We have just gone over Launceston Which we will be there, back there in a couple of weeks actually For the riding club qualifiers Managed to get to 90 positions So that will be my last event before our area festival which is in four weeks time but yeah doing well for time it's just gone seven o'clock so doing well and driving conditions are the sun is out it looks like it's going to be a glorious day and i think get up there get straight out walk the course as usual let the day unfold getting ready quarter markers get changed and then it's going to be very boom 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 it's literally got about 45 minutes between dressage and show jumping and i think 38 between show jumping and cross country so once i'm on for dressage it's all going to be rather boom 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 quick over and done
the bit that you can actually get to like a little circle because you haven't eaten for like how many hours two hours three hours gotta always think of that belly tina is not quite here yet i have sent her a message but she is obviously driving so i thought i would just pop the studs in maybe a little bit early but at least that's something done 
because then we will be heading out to walk the course when she gets here, I believe. Um, I keep looking so we can see the drive there. Um, we parked here and then I think the chap is making another row down there. So hopefully Tina can park down there and then they are part away from each other. I'm going to crack on and get these studs in her hooves. You do okay. <laughs> giving you very quickly to me because apparently you're a pain. <laughs> She's like, I'm up. just so excited. It's another horse pet. <laughs> Quite literally pulling. We're doing well. Ponies are both one side of the field. And now we're going to go walk the course. Whole gang of us today. Start box. Over fence one. And off out on to course. If Nala can do it, Lola can do it. Hop up, hop up. You gotta, you gotta jump it with the red flag on the right. Yeah, good girl. You're good. <laughs> no, run out. Unfortunate. Twenty penalties. That final looks a lot more in control than mine. <laughs> there we go. Hello. <laughs> Hi guys. Hello. I bet that's nice and cool for you, isn't it? Is that cool? He goes, oh, what's that? How deep is it? Now are you gonna follow? I'm going to say that the tail wagon it is. <laughs> Couldn't forget you, could we? No. Mummy thought of you. We did three meals a day and that you didn't. It was very early, so you didn't actually have any breakfast, did you? <laughs> Miss Lola is looking super shiny. Very shiny. Bottom is all done. Da -da -da, tail. And the hooves painted. Yeah. Still got about 50 minutes until we're getting on. Changed and ready to go, kind of. Um, just got to put, obviously, boots on, hat, stock. And I might now slowly start tucking her up. I'm just conscious that she is quite in the sun and don't want her to get too, too hot. <laughs> Although maybe lethargic would be a good thing, actually. Um, I have just had a little mini panic. I was gonna walk the course at 11 o'clock, the show jumping, and I completely and utterly didn't notice the time. So I kind of missed that, but I'm not going to fret about it. It doesn't matter. It's okay. Um, I will watch a couple after dressage and then, yeah, it'll be fine. We've jumped in that arena lots of times. It'll be fine. Absolutely fine. <laughs> How many times can I tell myself I'm going to be fine? Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm falling in. I'm hot. Yeah, it's cooking. You're looking silky. Don't touch me. In the same place. I've managed, I've ran down. I heard that they were doing a quick horse walk, so I was like, boom, run down there. And they uh, bombed into Fred down there, so he's recorded the horse with me. 
sorted. You know what they say about things meant to be? Like, there was a reason that I missed it earlier and didn't think about it. Okay. Yeah, I'm happy. Well, now, first. Focus. <laughs> to the test. So the test that we rode was the B90 dressage test 95 2012. Now I did go in originally and I did a loop around the arena but they were very quick to ring or ring beat the horn. So I went up did a little circle there and then came in on the right rein. And I'm really pleased with her center line. I think she looks so straight. Really bouncy, forward going, maybe a little bit of a wobble there, but that I'm really, really chuffed with that. And that scored us a seven and then straight away crossing at the diagonal. And again, I just think she looks really like, she's a little bit unsteady in her head if I'm being overcritical, like my normal self. But I think she looks really lovely, bouncy and pushing from behind. So for the change of rain, we scored a seven, and then we do a half 20 meter circle to X, followed by another half 20 meter circle. For both of these, we scored a 7.5, and was well positioned comment from the judge. Then straight into pick up canter, which we scored a seven four, and I just love that she's straight down that long side. Eek! On to a 20 meter circle in the middle of the arena. Now this is probably where she could do with maybe being a little bit more supple through a rib cage and through a whole body really. But again, we come back onto that straight side and she stays fairly straight. A little bit against my hand into that trot transition, but we scored a seven for our transition and also a seven for our 20 meter circle. Then as we did on the other rein, we're doing two half 20 meter circles. And this time we scored two sevens for both those halves, busy mouth, some slight tension. And then again, picking up canter, which I thought was a nice transition for another seven, very consistent test. Um, I think there's only one 6.5, but we haven't had that yet. Um, another 20 meter circle. Again, I just think she could be ever so slightly more supple through her body, but she's not burying her head like she has done scoring another seven for our 20 meter circle. And that transition was better if ever so slightly a little bit hurried. And then I'm really annoyed at myself for this transition into walk. Now we did score a seven, but I didn't really prepare her for it. It was very quick around that corner and suddenly it was there. I wasn't prepared enough. So obviously Lola wasn't prepared enough. Half 20 meter circle, allowing her to stretch. So Lola often gets good over track, good swing, but she could have just done with stretching down a little bit more there. We did score a seven and the judge commented fair steps. Then picking back up into medium walk and turning down the center line. And again, she's just not very, as the judge has marked us, this is our 6.5 more supple on turn, which I totally agree with. We had a nice transition to trot and then head down for our halt, which I don't think was too, too bad. And for the last mark, we scored a seven. Overall, a really pleasing, consistent test that I felt she was really rideable for. And on to our show jumping round. So I wanted to bring her in the arena, allow her to have a bit of a longer rain, a bit of a stretch and go around the outside just to take in the arena and all the banners and everything there. 
Then, as usual, I like to do a bit of a tighter circle just before coming into the first, which is the green one right there in front of us. And push her on into a bit of a bigger canter. And she got a really lovely stride. She then went really disunited here. And as you can see, I'm fighting her quite a bit, but ignored what her legs were doing and just kept on my line for the fence. And then we calm it down a little bit around that corner. Maybe should have pushed her on. I should have pushed her on a bit more. <laughs> and we then get seven strides in between three and four, when actually I probably should have pushed and we should have gone for the six. But it doesn't matter. Then in this corner, she had an utter complete spook, but I just kept my inside leg on. And we thankfully got to the double on a nice stride and jumped through it really well. Onto a dog leg. And then another dog leg following that, which was planks. But again, she picked up, pushed her on there after that fence. Then using the whole of the arena, coming onto the final line. Now the video doesn't show it, but just here, I felt like there was a ever so slight little pause before fence eight. But we got over it, as we did with fence nine, and we jumped a lovely clear round. Oh, I didn't realise that I had Miss Lola's um, foamy mouth on my hat. Not what I obviously wanted to be reporting back on. And I'm still not really that sure how I'm feeling about it right now. Probably have a cry. Babe, we're going right. Yeah. First for ever. I don't know what to say. I haven't got any words right now. We wouldn't want anyway. We had a 29.8 dressage, which is much better than what we had at Morton. So that was good. And we had a clear show jumping. That's okay. <laughs> Report back in a bit. Oh no. Oh no. That's what Chris is saying my theme oh, tune no. is for today. Oh, no. no, no. No, it's Lola's theme tune. Lola's theme tune, not my theme tune. Yeah, we're just heading over. Lola is all packed up. She didn't need much washing off because she didn't really do very much. So she is now back in the trailer. Everything is packed up, ready to go, and we're just whipping over to say bye to Tina, and Mummy and Sam, and Mr. Banksy. And then we'll be getting, getting home a fairly decent time. So even though I landed on my feet and I am feeling perfectly fine, when you are at a B event, if you have any fall, you must report to the paramedic, the doctor, um, just to sort of get a check over, make sure that you are indeed actually all okay. So just come down here. This is actually the control box. And the commentator's in there now. That gentleman there with the headphones on. And uh, they've just called for the doctor, so she is going to meet me here. I'm a bit concerned that this might be a bit too windy, but I feel like this is the norm now of how I do the event debris, and it is another blue sky, glorious, sunny day. And yeah, just lush hearing the sound of munching. Nala having a little run before I do have to bring the ponies in because they need to come off the grass. <laughs> and I'm in a sleeveless top and yeah, it's lovely. I'm gonna be honest, I, may have had a little bit of a blub this morning i'm not very good yesterday i was feeling fine as i said i was feeling surprisingly okay and then this morning i started sitting down editing the vlog and i watched back my dressage again my show jumping and yeah i just felt a bit of i want to say guttedness sort of came over me I, yeah i'm not very good at actually explaining myself very well and negative feelings I feel recently probably over this past year I have been very good at always looking for the positives in in situations in people in everything I always try to sort of look at the positive side of it and not dwell on the negative and this morning I think I just for a, for a little while I just started looking at the negatives and it just overcame me so don't think that I am always a bubbly 
positive person because I really do have my moments, but I have a bit of a pet talk with myself and I'm able to sort of talk myself around. So a bit of a debrief. Obviously I haven't done it yet, but I will be doing a voiceover over my dressage and show jumping. So you will know the marks that I've got in my test, but it was a very consistent, pleasing test. So over the moon, she was rideable. She was bouncy. Our walk let us down, which is something I have been working quite hard for. And I'm a little bit disappointed that it didn't quite reflect that in the test but we will continue working on that. And I think it's the fact that yesterday I was actually in fact able to ride the walk with my leg on, but I was just a little bit cautious of not riding with it too much on. So that is still a work in progress, but she was really bouncy and expression in the trot. And yeah, I'm just really pleased. No banana ring. And we were straight down the long sides, especially in canter. Our first center line, I think was pretty straight. And yeah, really, really chuffed with the dressage and the marks reflect going from a 36.5 i know we have different judges so it is hard to compare but 36 something at morton just just scraping a sub 30 score for a 29.8 so yeah really 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 pleased and chuffed with our dressage and i feel like there is still more to come in that phase which makes me excited and that the work that i've been putting in is getting there um and yeah, it, it gives you that drive to keep going with the hard work. On to show jumping. Now, as I mentioned, I haven't actually got to this part in editing, but I was very fortunate. I missed the course walk at 11, which is when I was planning on doing it. And then I looked at the time and it was like 20 past 11. I was like, no, I've missed it. But I heard over the tannoy, I walk in, I'm walking between fence one and two, and then Fred appears and he's like, is that fence one? Is that fence too? And I'm like, yeah. He's like, and you're just ambling between. So that was really beneficial, walking it with him. And as Fred said to me, don't ride for a clear. We're working on getting her straight jumping at the moment. I am terrible for taking my leg off just before the fence. I don't keep my leg on. And then that doesn't help us just before the fence, over the fence or after the fence. So I was really conscious and really trying hard focusing on each fence individually and especially with the related distances a lot of dog legs in our course yesterday and keeping the straight line the train tracks keeping her within the boards then finding my other line and going towards that so I am over the moon she didn't help me over I'm trying to think what fence that was fence four to fence five the double because she spooked at something in the corner and she came out the corner literally sideways but I just ignored her i wasn't worried what she was doing i kept my inside leg on and i managed to then get her straight again for the double so little things like that is just like little achievements in itself so really chuffed and even more chuffed to come out with a clear she jumped really well and i felt like she was actually using herself and using her shoulders and picking her feet up instead of she quite often can twist over fences and you see her that she jumps a bit to the side whereas actually i felt the majority of the fences yesterday she was jumping up and straight and square so the only one that i think that we weren't very straight for was the last over fence eight to nine to eight to nine yeah on that distance it was a very slight dog leg we didn't quite i can see our quarters i think we're going to the left so other than that really really pleased and again working in the right direction cross country so i sat down on the ramp chris bless him took my plaques out whilst i sat on the ramp and i did my visualization around the course there were things in that course yesterday that i was thinking they're gonna be it's gonna be a bit of a challenge but i visualized us riding over them successfully and felt the feelings that i wanted to have and I was game for it. I was keen. And so was Lola. She felt fab in the warm up. She was really like geared up and ready and felt game on. And even more so in the start box. She was, I walked in and I stopped. Keith goes, you've got 30 seconds. I was like, okay, can I have 10 please for my watch? No problem. And then I went to walk her on and she thought that was to go out. And then I was like, no, 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 we're not going quite yet. So she was keen, keen as mustard to get out that start box and was a little bit dancey feet like she is normally. We went out over one, two, three, four, really confidently. And she 
really felt like she was taking me. I was like, oh, she's feeling good. I'm feeling good. Let's go smash this course. I just had to move. Lola walked very close to the phone, made me a little bit anxious. <laughs> Fence 5A and B was in a wooded area. You came into a nice roll top, but after it, you couldn't really see where you were gonna land. And it was, like I say, into shade and it dropped away on landing, but she fell so good down through that, really keen, took me through it. And then it was onto fence six, uh, top of a steep mound, another roll top. And yeah, I just really was in a state of shock. I didn't know, I, I fell off, very luckily landed on my feet, didn't hurt myself. I've got nothing aching me today. Um, Lola was fine as well, walked away. We both walked away unharmed and yeah very very lucky it could have been different but we were very lucky and I remember just walking down the bank with holding her Chris was obviously at fence five so he walked across to me and was just going breathe breathe because I didn't know whether to swear to cry I just I, I didn't know how to feel I was just in a little bit of a shock I can't remember the last time that I fell off Cross country so maybe yeah I was due one perhaps <laughs> um, and thankfully a not too bad a one I was fully committed to going over that fence and obviously Miss Lola just wasn't I've got Lauren coming out this week she's gonna give both the horses a check over and maybe we might find that she's tight she has worked extremely hard these past few weeks so it will be really interesting to just see if she has got any soreness anywhere not making excuses i do think that she could have gone and i really thought she was going because i feel like i would normally sit something like that and that's probably where it shocked me even more like in show jumping the other day i jumped a fence on her neck whereas then a little silly thing like yesterday i come out the side door which it's just one of those things literally is just one of those things and yesterday was a stepping stone towards greater things and as somebody has messaged me this morning, I can't think who it was now, but it's only our second event of the season. Don't be so hard on yourself. Don't be so disappointed. And I really need, after having that little bit of a blub this morning, probably has helped as well, get that out. But I do think I need to not be so hard. Second event of the season, we've improved massively in our dressage and show jumping, and we're heading in the right direction. Yesterday was a stepping stone to greater things as I put on my post last night. It is, yeah, using that as a stepping stone because my ultimate goal is the regional final in four weeks time. We've got loads of time to get more practice in. As I say, they're gonna get a check over. Lola's gonna get a check over. So yeah, it's all good. It's all good. Puppy cuddles also make things all a lot better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That is the short lived cross country gutted that we didn't actually get to take on more of the course but as i say it's just one of those things nala <laughs> it definitely did feel weird not traveling up with tina yesterday although at least she didn't have to put up with me on the way home so i suppose that's probably a positive and we did get stuck in quite a bit of traffic on the m5 of everybody coming down to cornwall but it did feel weird it was different to normal i mean we still obviously walked the course and saw each other i think we often put on our b entries to have time similar so i'm going to probably suggest to her maybe we need to not do that from now on and we can have separate times and we're not like in all the warm-ups together not that it mattered i think the biggest part was that they didn't travel together to get that like oh we're together and we're glued to each other um, and I think it worked out for Tina well as well because she had an absolute epic day completing with a top 10 finish. So very well done to Tina and Banksy. Absolutely looked epic out on that cross country course. I saw them as I was in the warm up and they went flying out the start and yeah, they looked absolutely epic. Of course, was gutted not to have had a ride in the new Elsa. She is absolutely amazing. Had a little look around in the flesh yesterday and she is, mwah, she is amazing. Tina had Christmas come early. I'm sure you've all seen her latest vlogs. I think she's done one of out show jumping on Thursday and obviously going and picking it up. Yeah, Christmas came early for her this week. I for one know how hard Tina works. So it is so utterly and most definitely deserved 
and so so buzzing for her so i cannot wait for a proper stay a night stay a night stay away show with her and banks in it in the bunk beds and in the living bit yeah it all looks absolutely amazing as i say very well deserved to tina for all the hard work that she puts in doing all of this all the vlogging the instagram everything she um really does work incredibly hard not really the day that I was hoping to sort of be doing this kind of feedback on, but it was a good day nonetheless and lots and lots of positives to take from the day and not to dwell on the negatives. We're next out at Launceston Riding Club qualifiers in a couple of weeks. So look forward to that, carry on with the hard training and look forward to getting out there and doing it all again in two weeks time. Two weeks today actually it is. But that is the reality of eventing, trying to get all three phases to go well and smoothly on the same day is <laughs> quite difficult. Well, it is for us, but I hope you have enjoyed. And of course, don't forget if you have, give it a thumbs up, a cheeky comment, and of course hit the all important subscribe button. Until next time guys, I will see you all very, very soon. Take care, bye.